Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a cooking nurse, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I made these uh, chicken wings in the air fryer. Yes, but you can do them in by deep frying. Okay, so here I have my chicken wings that I've had for about how many days until the mighty air fryer showed up. So that's it. They've been defrosting. I washed them when I was cutting them, and that is why it's still draining some water because they were frozen. And I cut them into three parts, the winglets, the drumsticks, and these small tips, the wing tips, which I'm not going to be using. So I'm letting them, I'm putting them in this position so they can drain all this much water and they be ready to use. So on my spice plate, I have garam masala, I have black pepper, paprika, fresh dania or coriander leaves with their sticks. I have a lemon, I have garlic, two cloves, ginger, and a chicken bouillon. This is like um, a chicken spice that is really salty. So yeah, if you're not seeing salt here, just know it's because the bouillon has salt and you have to, you know, season with care and then we have our forever favorite this is a raja we used to use it long time ago until you know shop right closed and then we couldn't find the spice and then we found it yesterday again in a supermarket in town and we had to get it it's the mild and spicy there is one that is hot there's one that is not having any pepper so yeah it depends but i'm going to be using it in some of the chicken that i'm going to be frying today so i'm going to transfer everything into my my blender has gotten a twin, a gadget that is going to work its A off, okay? So I'm going to squeeze in my lemon. I'm using a sieve because I don't want the seeds in. And then I go in with about a teaspoon of olive oil and blend that until it's smooth. The reason I'm blending even when I had the powder spices is because I don't want... This one got paprika, this one did not get, everything should be together. All the, the seasoning or the flavors should just be together. Though you can just, you know, use your hands and mince the garlic, mince the ginger, a knife and pour them on top of the chicken and mix. So what I'm going to be using, uh, doing is dry, pat them dry, pat the chicken dry so that the spices or the marinade can easily enter or penetrate. You can use the chicken towels. I didn't have those ones. I just used serviettes but nonetheless the job was done so i'm going to go on and pour my marinade on top of the chicken drumsticks i'm separating them because uh the children don't take the pepper they don't take hot things but i do so i'm going to separate them so that they don't get to you know get so much spicy chicken after mixing that, I'm going to cover it with a cling film and preferably if you can do this like overnight or about 30 minutes before the process, I think mine took like 20 minutes before, yeah, because I was excited. I got this air fryer yesterday and the 11th of June, just in case you watch this video a year later, the 11th of June 2022, and it was one of the best days of my life because I've wanted this gadget forever, forever. It finally came, it finally is here. So anyways, the chicken wings came in handy because they had been in the freezer for a long time and I've been procrastinating on whether to deep fry them, use them in something else. And finally, finally, something perfect came around. So this is where I'm going to be using my raja in the chicken winglets. I'm going to pour there a generous amount. You can regulate it if you want, but I told you about my ancestors. They are sharp. They must have been master chefs in their days. So they always keep on screaming at me. It's not enough. Oh, yo, 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 it's enough. So that's it. If you can measure, well and good. So anyways, once all these are coated, I'm going to let them sit a while. I'm not putting them in the fridge, but you can you know and i'll go on ahead and unbox my baby my air fryer for those who don't know how it looks like yeah yeah i know we were many and we are many and so here i am I'm gonna show you how it looks like how it works this is the eight liter one i got the jeepers brand and it was quite affordable yeah if you want to know the price come in my dm on instagram and i'll tell you so it has, this is how it looks like. It has this frying pan that has like a separator inside. And this is how the inside looks like. Cute. Looks like you can actually use it like a photo booth. Or you can generally live there. 
Anyways, it has this uh, manual knob. I couldn't manage the automatic one. So I want something that can be able to set temperature and know what time I've set. So this one can be used as a separator. You can cook things down and things up. So on top of it, or you can just use it like this, the way I've used it. It's more like a steamer. If you know a rice cooker, sometimes you can put rice down and put vegetables on top, or you can put chicken down and put chips on top. That is the reason why there is that separator. But I'm just going to be putting all my chicken in. Uh, it's pretty big. The eight liter one is pretty big. So all the drumsticks, uh, all the wings are going to go in just the way they are. And I'm going to be baking them at 180 degrees or, you know, frying them at 180 degrees. I'm used to baking. <laughs> I keep on saying baking. So yeah, keep this knob. It's much easier to use, I think, compared to the manual, the automatic one, which you put and then press the chicken and then those smart things. And first we are analog, analog. So anyways, that's been like 15 minutes. I put them in and that is how they look. So I'm going to flip them so that all sides get the right crisp. Okay. It's so much easy to use because it has a safety, um, I think, feature in it. Immediately you pull it out. Even when it's going, it completely shuts off until you pull it back. Like right now, it's going to go on again. And I'm going to set the time again, but this time I'm going to put it at 20 minutes. The inside knob is for temperature, for, for time. The outside knob is for temperature. You can use it to fry anything. Something you would have used five liters. You're just going to use like a tablespoon or even none. Yeah, like fatty foods like this one, you may use none. So as you can look, man, look at this chicken. If I was going to deep fry, I would still be there trying to turn. Is it ready inside? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. To my husband who got it for me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So the chicken wings look crispy. They were crispy. They were tasty. I've never filmed a video and uploaded it at the same time in the same day ever. But this one, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. So I'm just going to, you know, drop on some coriander just for this particular video because I'm going to go in. I think the chips are already inside and I'll serve this with the uh, chips. Everyone gets a piece, and I think we are about to fry even bananas. Everything, everything. Thank you so much, everyone who has watched up until this time. I am requesting you to subscribe. Uh, follow me on all my socials. Let's socialize and, you know, get to explore more and better hates together. For everyone who has been here, we are about to hit 5K. I just request you to share this video with whoever you think can be benefit from it and let's grow together so thank you so much and i'll see you soon in my next video bye